today I'm gonna be making this giant What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. The Mighty Thumb Club welcomes you all. That's right, my friends. Sorry, I'm blinded by this thing on TikTok. It looks like bacon. It looks like a BLT. It is a BLT. With avocado. It's a double decker BLT. Whoa, whoa. I didn't see the double decker the first time. Oh. Mr. Cilantro on TikTok. Let's take a look at this guy. All right. Hey, Journey, take a break here. Alright, uh, display. Alright, let's take a look at this dude. Mr. Cilantro on TikTok. BLT with avocado on the Blackstone. Bacon, Blackstone griddle. Let's see. It's got SpongeBob tomfoolery mu music. Alright, let's see here. Hey guys, for lunch, I'm gonna make an A BLT. I'm using sourdough bread. White mayo on both sides is Duke's mayonnaise. Mayo on both sides. Get that bread nice and toasty. Let the symbol bread, mayonnaise, avocado, bacon, three strips, lettuce, and tomato. And just repeat the process. I do not like tomato, but I would do it with the bacon and the lettuce. It needs like a rubber band to hold it together. And there you go, BLT with avocado. Yeah, a lot of crunchy crunchies. A lot of crunchy crunchies in that. Looks yummy though. Indubitably. Looks like needs an egg or two? Yeah, I could go with that. I can go with that. He's got mayonnaise on the bread before he He did it, right? Before he put it on a blackstone. There was nothing really wet on that sandwich once when he assembled it.
I do make some wicked Mexican food on his channel, though. Worth a check out. How's it going, Raven Knight? All right, Journey, come back to me. You made ribs on the grill? You gotta do those slow, right? Low and slow for a long period of time to get them to be like fall off the bone. Brussels sprouts in the air fryer. Look at that. I have a feeling Brussels sprouts, I, I think I need to give them another shot. I, I wrote them off of things I don't like. Six hours indirect. Yeah. So how do you do indirect on a grill? Do you like wrap them in foil and then put them on the uh, upper rack? I feel Brussels sprouts. Whenever I go to someone's house and they have Brussels sprouts cooking, it always smells decent. So I'm like, I really think I need to give them another shot. Ah, oh, nice. Turn the left side. Ribs on the right. Ribs, dude. Ribs are one of those things, like... There is a thousand and one ways to do ribs. And, oh my god, don't tell somebody that they're doing it the wrong way. It is start a holy war. Dude, if they're your ribs, do them any way you want. Oh, yeah, if you got a picture, drop it in Discord. We'll check it out. Um, We, we did our first cooking on a Blackstone today. We did omelets this morning. Ham and cheese omelets. Um, I kind of botched the first one. The other three came out great. Um... And then tonight we did these tacos, which is why I had this open. I wanted to find those to show you guys. They came out good. They needed a little bit of refinement, the taco things we did today. I like the hell out of this, didn't I? Yeah, I did. You dropped it in Discord? Let's see. Wow! Whoa! Oh, you can't see what I'm seeing. Display. Dude, they almost look like, from this angle, if you didn't tell me they were ribs, I would have thought they were wings. These look caramelized and happy. Oh my god, Ravenite. They look great, dude. Did you pound all of those? Or you save some for tomorrow? Because I know how it is. Once you start start that motor, you get that train going on crushing these ribs. It's hard to stop it. Oh, I didn't see this picture. What is this? Me telling my kids to go to bed for the thousandth time. Like, <laughs> they look amazing. Well done, sir. Well done. So this here, this is the thing that we were trying to make today. It's It's got a weird music to it, so I might lower the music. Just enjoy the visuals. And go. Finally busted out the black zone. Oh my god, I even dropped the volume down. Here we go. So they got the meat. I, it looks like barbacoa, maybe. And they got the cheese. See, see, and, and here, uh, we'll get back to this in a minute, but remind me to come back to this image here and I'll tell you something's up. So here we go. For my daughter's birthday. Uh, a little bit up. Look at that. See, they, they flip floppity flip it, soak it like French toast in the meat here. Slap it on there. Give them a little 
toast. Drop the meat on. And then we'll pull them over. Alright. So what happened with me tonight is these these look great on here, right? So one thing I'm learning with the Blackstone is I don't have enough counter space for everything. So you prep everything in the kitchen and then you bring it all outside, right? So you got a bowl of meat, you got a bowl of cheese, you got the tortillas. I had a thing of rice going as well. Um, then I had butter and some other stuff. Because everyone shows you what they do on the on the Blackstone. Like, oh, just throw some rice in, throw some butter on, you know, oil this side, throw the chicken on. And it's like, where's all this stuff coming from? Like, you have like five other counters of crap around. Right? So... I need to improve my counter space. That's one of the skills we have to improve here. But this, it came out really good. Um, we did it with chicken dough. I had chicken in the fridge we had to use. So I cooked up the chicken on the Blackstone on one side. I had rice going in the rice cooker inside. When that rice was done, I brought it out, threw it on the Blackstone on the right side, on the, on the, the cool side, just to keep it warm. And then on the left side, we were doing a chicken. When the chicken was done, I put it all up, put it in the bowl, threw the taco seasoning, the water taco seasoning mixture in the bowl, stirred it all up, got it good and happy, and then took the tortillas out and started slapping them and, th and throwing them down on the black zone. And then we put a little bit of meat down, a little bit of chicken, a little bit of rice. And what I learned is when you folded them over, they needed another little bit of cheese to act as a glue to hold the top, the fold over when you fold it over. So we learned that. Also, you got to do it pretty quick because they'll start burning. But other than that, they came out good. And because I took too long, I let them kind of like cook a little bit and not just assemble. Uh, the rice dried out and got really crunchy, crispy. It was like too done. But lesson learned. I mean, the, the Blackstone performed perfectly. We had a hot side, a cool side. It was working great. Um... Just got to refine that one. But this is, this is a fun one. You know, if you got a taco holder thing, like we have an eight thing, a wire rack that holds eight tacos. You could do this with these tortillas. You could drop them in there and then load them up. Or you just fold them over like they did here. That's fine too. But you could put that rack on the cool side and just load them up. And people can just come and take a taco when they're ready, you know. That's what my dad and I used to do when I was a kid. He had that cast iron wood burning stove. In the basement that heated the whole house and when we had tacos we bring everything downstairs and just throw it on all on top of the the stove to keep everything warm it's too good but i had to bookmark these recipes because they're almost impossible to refine again but yeah dude it was a two successful cooks on the blackstone today tomorrow we'll, we'll see i don't think i'm doing breakfast tomorrow because i gotta run the kids got muffins and stuff, and I'm, I'm, oh, I gotta use up the ham, too. Ham's gonna go bad. Maybe I'll try again. What I want for the Blackstone is I want the, um, there's a bunch of people that make, someone probably already makes it already. They have, like, these breakfast kits, so you could, um, you make, like, the perfect fried egg, you know, the little circle thing with the, the pull on it, so you could pull it off, so it shapes it perfectly, like a circle for you. And they had the same thing for like pancakes and at the, like the, the batter dropper and all that. And that stuff is cool. I want that. But what I want is the actual like perfect frame for an omelet, which in my mind is a square because you're going to, you're going to try fold it into a rectangle, a long rectangle. So I think it's a square. And then, so you fill everything, you drop the eggs in there and they do their thing. And then you drop your whatever filling going in and then you flip. Flip, flip it over, flip it over, and boom. So, there's lots of cool things we're going to try out on this over the summer. But so far, day one with it, actually cooking with it, has been pretty good. All right. Into the game we go. What are we doing tonight? 
We are doing Under Sarthal. This is the quest that we accidentally reactivated last night. So we have to go talk to an Archmage at... Windhelm? The College of Windhelm? Winterhold? One of the W places. And we gotta go talk to Archmagel Mage Infest. So, that is what we're gonna do! Wait, is this my... Yeah, I wanna put a... We're going up to the college. Let's go find Archmage. Good lord, where is this guy? Just came up these stairs. Oh, I have to keep going up. Okay. Archmage's quarters. Hey, Archmage, it's 2 a.m. Guess what? Um, I have to go up more stairs. Do wake up. You are relatively new here, are you not? I have noticed you, but we have not spoken. No, we haven't. Then allow me to introduce myself. I am Savos Arin, Archmage of the College of Winterhold. I am quite content to see nearly any aspect of magic explored and investigated here. But I do not and will not approve of any research or experiments that cause purposeful harm to your fellow members of the College. Are we clear? Yeah. Can I speak to you about Sarthal? Ah, please don't tell me that another one of the apprentices has been incinerated. <laughs> I have enough to deal with right now. Now we sound some sort of orb. Tolfter wanted you to see it. I see. I trust that Tolfter will provide a more specific explanation. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. Tolfdir normally looks after your little group, yes? Since he's apparently occupied, and I will need to see this discovery for myself, I think perhaps you should begin researching the subject. Speak with Urog in the Arcanium. See if he's aware of anything that matches your discovery. And good work. The next time you find yourself exploring Nordic ruins, perhaps this will be helpful. Staff of Mage Light added. We already got it from that place. Speak to Urag. Oh, wait. Not often, no. Some risks must be taken to be sure. I am simply trying to avoid untimely deaths. <clears throat> we also must make an effort to avoid worsening what Skyrim thinks of us. Understood. Mm -hmm. I will go talk to Urog. Shnurogaburog. 
I am Urog. Is there an elevator here, Urog? Um, what's up here? Okay. We're gonna dive down the stairs. Jump! Down again, huh? Okay. No, oh, I. Ah, wrong. Oh, there you go, there too far. You are. I've been trying to find you. No. Oh. I just wanted to let you know that Ancano's been asking about you. I think he's looking for you. Jeez, why is it? Why is Arcano looking for me? I'm not sure. Just, well, mind what you tell him. All right. Maybe if you know, you and me get upstairs, do the boom, chicka boom, boom. Between the two of us, there are rumors about him. That this advisor position he has is a sham, an excuse. That what he's really doing is spying for the Thalmor. Trying to feed them information. Whether it's true, I can't say. But it never hurts to be a little suspicious, does it? Um. Okay. Thanks for the warning. You're welcome. Until next time. Oh, I get lost, lady. Bad mood today. <clears throat> Where's Urag, Hooventude? If I'm stuck reading books all night, I am going to be so mad. Yo, wake up. This better be good. I need to learn something that we found in Sorothal. I know what you want. Word travels fast around Oh, you were sleeping. Discovered some big mystery, huh? Well, you don't even need to ask. No, I don't have anything for you. Not anymore, anyway. Um, you don't have anything that can help? I said not anymore. Orthorn stole a number of books when he ran off to Felglow Keep to join those summoners. Some kind of peace offering. <laughs> I think one of those volumes may have had some relevant information. If you want them, you'll have to talk to Orthorn. All right, go find stolen books. Yeah, seriously. Doesn't Orthorn care that anybody stole stuff from the college? Not enough to bother with. Archmage Aaron's approach to these things is just to let them sort themselves out. Mm. Although now it looks like you'll be doing the sorting. Good luck with that. Right, so tell me about Orthorn. Not enough to bother with. Archmage Aaron's approach to these things is just to let them sort themselves out. Although now it looks Wait, like you'll click be on doing that. the sorting. Good luck with that. He was an apprentice here at the college. Not very skilled, but got no. involved with a group of mages who took a liking to him. When they left, he took off after them. Stole supplies and books from the college. I suppose as a way to ingratiate himself. All right. Until next time. This guy sell stuff? Wait. Hmm? Yeah. Assorted books, scrolls. I'm sure you'll find something useful. All right, then. All right, what do we do now? Now we gotta go find the stolen books. Is 
Let's do it. That horse just took off. All right, we can blow these people up. Let's do it. Yoink. Well, my horse is stuck. Sorry, horse. And now we got a dragon, of course. Horse, get out of the way. Oh, I'll battle you. Let's go. Oh, it's a fire tronic, huh? I guess using fire against the fire breathing thing doesn't work. All right, Robo Horse, you just hang there because you're stuck. All right, I'll come back for you. All right, we're going down the hole. Down in a hole. Oh, there's your body. Go find a book. You don't deserve to live. Call me a test subject.
Follies? Chances Follies. Read that later. dance that's a that's gonna blow me up I don't know how you counteract it teach you to mess with me uh, oh you were saying do with all these vampires There's a door. Here we go. Oh, there's another guy. Oh, man, laser in us. the universe we bum rushed at one person it was total bait Hyperion what's up dude uh oh channel points not working now stupid freaking Have to I reset everything? Uh, all right, sorry, Sam. I don't know what happened between last night and tonight, but Touch Portal lost its connection with Twitch. Damn. Yeah, let me see if I can fix it. Uh, touch photo. Hate that that happens. Like, out of nowhere. It doesn't warn you that it's lost its Twitch connection. It just happens. It's frustrating. Settings. Um, other screen. Thank you. Like you get a token with Twitch, but you have to reset it every so many days. Uh, 
I do. See if this works. All right, we're back. So it should work now. I will replay yours. Wow. Autobots, roll out. All right, let's go mess these dudes up. Hit me with freeze ray, freeze ray. Oh no, you're set up nicely for a horrible night of sleep. You got storm and kids that won't go to sleep or kids that are sick. We wanted to keep this book, right? Yeah. It's not funny on the table. We gotta read that book later. Looks like it might be funny. And there's potion here, potion here. All right. Oh, well, there's a trap here. All right, Hyperion Ravenite. I need to know something. If there's a way to, oh, I didn't know this is a door. We didn't explore this last time. Hang on, I'll ask my question later. Hang tight. Stand by. On. Be deflector ray. Okay. How do I get past those things on the ground? When I walk on those things, you know, big electricity thing shocks me, takes half my health. How do I not do that? Or how can I set it off? I tried jumping over, I couldn't do it. Maybe if I zoom out. Ah, see, that didn't work. Did I throw something on it? Booby trap. Like uh, Goonies. Booby trap. We'll be trapped. All right, I got a. Uh, I'm gonna launch Sanguine on these guys. There's like three of them in here. Sanguine. Here we go. Here we go. can't move Did you hear what he said? Did you hear what Sanguine said? Close. He said, there can be no other end. <laughs> Hold the phone, dude. I can't move. What happened? He move. he got killed. He went down. Maybe he was down, but not out. Enough. 
Oh yeah, he has 32 health. He came back. That is so good. Oh. How do I get it? Let's go. That clip is phenomenal. Oh my god, that is good. And of course, we got Rob Zombie playing in the background. Who's this guy? Call me the American dream. Call me the solar rigid. A werewolf in here? Okay, hang on. Let's finish clearing this room. Master vampire. Got some dust. Table. Health. There is some weird stuff going on here. Hi, Perrin. The, the, the people who live here are operating on your people. The vampiros. What is going on down here? I might have to come back with a dual body axe here. What was that? Fire away. Go, boys. Attack. Oh. 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 All right, I can't heal. I'm an idiot. My advice to you is to start drinking heavily. Right on. Alright, we gotta bum rush this dude. Come here. Ah, get out of here, wolf. All right, can I clear this other room, please? That guy ran like a wuss. We didn't even get to clear this room yet. There's an up. There's a. There's a bunch of doors here. All right, he let this. You're pathetic. I'm pathetic. I'm just sent here to find a stolen book. Okay. Your leader guy stole. Whoa. Are these guys? I don't think I want to let them out, huh? Potion to resist frost, ice, resist cold.
This is weird. Is this like a training room for mages? The Legend of Red Eagle? That sounds like a fun book. Oh, geez, there's a quest in that book? Penguin. Slowly walking to you. The skeleton left? We killed the leader guy. Anyone else? Ancient Nord Battle Axe. That's one of my random quests. Retrieve Ancient. Oh, it's your pickaxe. Uh, okay. All right. Before I take that book off the pedestal, unleash hell upon myself. Okay, we'll take those. I forgot we need to take all these things to disenchant them to level up enchantment. Alright, this is the stolen book, I think. No, it's a spell. Raise a zombie. Reanimate a weak body. A weak dead body to fight for you for 60 seconds. We already know it. Great. Grand. Wonderful. Great! Hit streak to 23 games. <laughs> yeah. DiMaggio. City of Stone. Okay. is going on around here <laughs> it is it's totally mass hysteria come back here don't run don't run Accept your fate at the hand of the- Oh, you can't make it through the door. Let's go! Crush the first bit unleashed. Can I go back to the room where the storm is, please? 
Thank you. Who's this guy? Is that Talos? That's Talos, right? Oh. I'll take that great glass sword, yeah. Where's your shrine, Talos? I need to heal. Yoink. Yoink. Doors of Oblivion? I should have made notes of all the books we got to read. Alright. Something was here. Don't know what it was. That was good timing on the mass hysteria. Because <laughs> it was... Yeah, our shout is still recovering. Beat the necromanger in the other room. Oh, another door? I did not get a key from anybody. Do you have a key? Oh, that's right. We're taking all these things and we can't disenchant them. Because we already know them. Blatantly shoot ice in my face. And yeah, no more? Yeah, I think not. Staff of shaming? <laughs> Shame on you! Dude, I like going in circles here. Where are all these doors going to? Try back here? No. That. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Take it. Hey, where's the way out of here? Did we come from this way? Go this way. Go through here. I don't have a key for that. I, think, uh, I guess we gotta go up. Door straight ahead. It's over here. Oh! 
He, I'm telling you, Crushedifer does not like mages. He has beheaded three different people tonight. We've read that already. You don't have a key, do you? Just ready to procreate there. Okay. The door to goes left. Hi there. One. He hates mages, dude. Holy crap. I haven't seen this one's hatred out of a person since Anakin Skywalker. Wow. Heads are rolling. <laughs> Are sure it's still here? <laughs> I thought we were done with this quest like five rooms ago. Ritual chamber. So you're the one who barged into my home and laid waste to my projects. How nice to meet you. Why is there three arrows? Who are you? Names no longer matter. You may refer to me as the caller. Now, do you have a reason for making such a mess? I do. I'm here for the books from the college. So you're just one of Aaron's lackeys. That's disappointing. You show real promise. You come here, kill my assistants, disrupt my work. You've annoyed me, so I don't think I'll be giving you anything. Uh -huh. A little feisty, I like it. I'm not going anywhere without those books. Are you attempting to threaten me after I've been so hospitable? Oh, you've well, been spitting. Well, you won't be leaving here at all. You're dead. <laughs> all right, we, we're going to go two-handed on her. That didn't heal at all. Let's go. Let's do it. So you're the one who bought how nice to meet you. How dare you? Someone there. Oh. Ah, ah, ah. Oh. Dominated. The logo of ritual key. Major would just swap my pillow out from under my sick daughter's head. Indiana Jones style, yeah! That's what we're talking about. Now, go back to your wife and tell her. I'm very happy we're going to have all the sex. <laughs> Book.
Don't wear the chest or anything, right? Show me your chest. It's not. We gotta go this way. Here it is. Uh, spells that I know already. Okay. okay, shoot some ladders time. Cue Indiana Jones theme song. I don't remember coming in this hole. is not where my horse got stuck. Wait, where's the marker on the map? Oh, back at, uh, let's see over with. I believe he has a song about Perry Mason. Wait, they got this thing back here? The Archmage believed it important. It must be powerful. We don't know that. We don't even know what it is. Where is Arin anyway? In his quarters with that Thalmor, Ancano. Something urgent, it sounded like. All right, that's enough. What now? <laughs> Dude, the books. Well, well. And you seem to be in one piece. Yeah. Thank you. I'll look these over and inform Mirabelle if I find anything relevant. Night of Tears, eh? I remember this one. Well, isn't that interesting? Did you read it yourself? If I recall it oh, correctly, I wanted to. that has some interesting implications. You should mention that to Toldir. And here. I suppose you've earned these. Racial phylogeny added? Daughter of Nibbin added? No, I want to go back and read the books first before I get this. Until next time. I forgot I wanted to do that. Um, we got a whole bunch of books. Alright, we have to go back. You guys gotta remember the books. I forgot them. I'm not gonna remember what they were called. I have two rid of ceiling books. That's great. Three. Oh, those are from that quest. Okay.
that we have to get Red Eagle Sword. The Last King of Aliads. The Door of Oblivion. Night of Tears. That was one. Let's start with this one. Night of Tears by Draenor Seleth. Sarthal holds a prominent place in Skyrim history, even if most do not remember it by name. It is, of course, the site of one of the first major Nord settlements, one of the first cities of men in Skyrim, and the earliest known capital of their civilization. It was also the site of terrible bloodshed, when the elves attempted to drive the Nords out of Skyrim to succeed only in incurring their wrath in the form of Iskermor and his fabled 500 companions who swept the elves from Skyrim and firmly established it as the home of the Nords. All this is known but little else. What happened on that Night of Tears when Sarthal was raised to the ground? What provoked the elves to such a deliberate, vicious attack? And what prompted such a severe response from the Nords? Vingalmo's treatise on the Altmer Antecedent suggests that the elves of the Morethic era, along with their counterparts, the early Dwemer, possessed a degree of sophistication unparalleled in Tamriel. They displayed power beyond what could be expected of the time. Hmm. While a distinct explanation is not given for this, I believe that this work, compared with the early writings of Hesef Karirnis, suggests that something greater was at work on that night in Sarthal. The true motives behind the Night of Tears have been obscured to us by the passage of time, but I believe this was not a simple war of territory or of control of Skyrim. I believe that what happened was a significant event based around something very particular. The Nords found something when they built their city buried deep in the ground. They attempted to keep it buried, but the elves learned of it and coveted it for themselves. Mm. Thus they assaulted Sarthal, their goal not to drive the Nords out, but to secure this power for themselves. I believe Iskermor knew something of what the elves would find under Sarthal, and rallied together his people to keep the elves from gaining it. When the Nords once again controlled Skyrim, this power was buried deep below the earth and sealed away. Time has kept this knowledge from us, but it is my hope that time will also reveal the truth of these words. Every effort will be made to relocate Sarthal, and to find that which has been lost to us. So, the elves wanted the cool, great power that the Nords had buried, and they were douches and tried to take it for themselves. Okay. Is this the other book? Oh, that looks too expensive to be the other book. Where are these three? What is the Talos mistake? Da, da, da. The last king of Aliens. I don't know, there's no story? There's no audiobook for this one. Screw that. Doors of Oblivion. The Doors of Oblivion by Sif Ij Hidya. When thou enterest into Oblivion, Oblivion entereth into thee. Nai Tyrol La. The greatest mage who ever lived was my master, Morian Zenas. You have heard of him as the author of the book On Oblivion, the standard text for all matters, Daedric. Despite many entities over the years, he refused to update his classic book with his new discoveries and theories because he found that the more one delves into these realms, the less certain one is. He did not want conjecture, he wanted facts. For decades before and after the publication of On Oblivion, 
Xena has compiled a vast personal library on the subject of Oblivion, the home of the Daedra. He divided his time between this research and personal magicka growth, on the assumption that should he succeed in finding a way into the dangerous world beyond and behind ours, he would need much power to wander its dark paths. Okay. Twelve years before Xenas began the journey he had prepared his life to make, he hired me as his assistant. I possessed the free attributes he required for the position. I was young and eager to help without question. I could read any book once and memorize its contents. And, despite my youth, I was already a master of conjuration. Xenas mm. too was a master of conjuration. Indeed, a master at all the known and unknown schools. But he did not want to rely on his ability alone in the most perilous of his research. In an underground vault, he summoned Daedra to interview them on their native land, and for that he needed another conjurer to make certain they came, were bound, and were sent away again without incident. I will never forget that vault, not for his look which was plain and unadorned, but for what you couldn't see. There were scents that lingered long after the summoned creatures had left. Flowers and sulfur, sex and decay, power and madness. They haunt me still to this very day. Conjuration, for the layman unacquainted with his workings, connects the caster's mind with that of the summoned. Mm -hmm. It is a tenuous link, meant only to lure and hold, and dismiss, but in the hands of a master, it can be much stronger. It means sanguine. The Sidgics and the Dwemer can, in the Dwemer's case, perhaps I should say, could connect with the minds of others and converse miles apart. A skill that is sometimes called telepathy. Over the course of my employment, Xenas and I developed such a link between one another. It was accidental, a result of two powerful conjurers working closely together, but we decided that it would be invaluable should he succeed in traveling to oblivion. Since the denizens of that land could be touched even by the skills of an amateur conjurer, it was possible we could continue to communicate while he was there, so I could record his discoveries. The doors to oblivion to use Morian Xenos' phrase, are not easily found, and we exhausted many possibilities before we found the one where we held the key. The Sigics of Arteum have a place they called the Dreaming Cave, where it is said one can enter the Daedric Realms and return. Iacasis, Zothasil, Nimati, and many others have been recorded as using this means, but despite many entreaties to the Order, we were denied its use. Celerus, the leader of the Order, has told us it has been sealed off for the safety of all. We had hopes of using the ruins of the Battle Spire to access Oblivion. The Weir Gate still stands, though the old proving grounds of the Imperial Battle Mages itself was shattered some years ago in Jaegar Tharn's time. Sadly, after an exhaustive search through the detritus, we had to conclude that when it was destroyed, all access to the realms beyond, the Soul Cairn, the Shade Perilous, the Havoc Wellhead, had been broken. It was probably for the good, but it frustrated our goal. The reader may have heard of other doors, and he may be assured we attempted to find them all. Some are pure legend, or at any rate, not traceable based on the information left behind. There are references in lore to Maruk's Abyss, the Corrington Mirror, the Matalan Crooks, the Crossroads, the Mouth, a riddle of alchemical formula called Jacinth and the Rising Sun, 
and many other places and objects that are said to be doors, but we could not find. Some exist, but cannot be entered safely. The whirlpool in the Abyssinian called the Maelstrom of Ball can make ships disappear, and may be a portal into oblivion, but the trauma of riding its waters would surely slay any who tried. Likewise, we did not consider it worth the risk to leap from the Pillar of Thras, a thousand-foot-tall spiral of coral. Though we witnessed the sacrifices of sloths made there, some victims were killed by the fall, but some, indeed, seemed to vanish before being dashed on the rocks. Since the slow did not seem certain why some were taken and some died, we did not favor the odds of the plunge. The simplest and most maddeningly complex way to go to oblivion was simply to cease to be here and begin to be there. <laughs> Throughout history, there are examples of mages who seem to travel to the realms beyond ours seemingly at will. Many of these voyagers are long dead, if they ever existed, but we were able to find one still living. In a tower of Zephyr Bell Bay on the island of Vardenfell in the province of Morrowind, there exists a very old, very reclusive wizard named Devaith Fair. He was not easy to reach and he was reluctant to share with Mori and Zenas the secret door to oblivion. Fortunately, my master's knowledge of law impressed fear, and he taught him the way. I would be breaking my promise to Zenas and fear to explain the procedure here, and I would not divulge it even if I could. If there is dangerous knowledge to be had, that is it. But I do not reveal too much to say that Fear's scheme relied on exploiting a series of portals to various realms created by a Telvani wizard, long missing and presumed dead. Against the disadvantage of this limited number of access points, we weighed the relative reliability and security of the passage, and considered ourselves fortunate in our informant. Morian Zenas then left this world to begin his exploration. I stayed at the library to transcribe his information and help him with any research he needed. Dust, he whispered to me on the first day of his voyage. Despite the inherent dreariness of the word, I could hear his excitement in his voice echoing in my mind. Oh. I can see from one end of the world to the other in a million shades of grey. This book is too There long. is no sky or ground or air. Only part. Good God. Good Lord. All right, listen, I'm going to hit the bathroom. I'm going to come back and we're going to skip the reading of the books because I thought it would be more interesting. Um, actually, no, maybe we'll read the riddle book because hopefully that's funny. But good God, that book is dreadfully awful. Wow. Tell me if you got there or not. Stop telling me all the ways you tried that failed. Just tell me if you got there. All right, I'll be right back. We are victorious! Yes, Team Mac! Yeah! Celebratory awesomeness! Go Team Mac! Yeah. Good job, robots! Good job, robots! Hey. <laughs> that was awesome! So the only shrine I've ever interacted with is this one, the Shrine of Talos, that's hosted and preached upon by Doc Brown. You actually have somebody listening to you? 
ass man, you said. I am ass man? He's the ass man. Matador gains bar power every time defender activates a special attack. Oh, okay. No worries, we're good. Jump, watch behind you, here comes his buddy. <laughs> I mean, just stop running and fight, bro. Yeah, idiot, idiot. Watch out, his buddy's there. I'll see, his buddy's got balls. He'll fight you. Let's go! Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! You gotta give him a dance for that. Oh yeah, way up there, huh? Oh yes! White tree. Four regular gifting crystals. Now you guys want to see the big boy ones, right? Where are they? Nowhere to be found. Nine Cora. greater gifting Tongue crystals. Four hundred and thirty cheered X five. The gifting event is so unique. It's a fun way for everyone to get a taste of macaque. Oh, you got me. You got me good, Derek. You got me good with that one. Face first special. We used to play that game. Oh, man. Used to have chat pick out different ways I could run fast, face first into special attacks. Let me see who can get the most points. Oh, those were the days, man. Double digit viewer, shut up! Seriously? Hold on. Heck yeah, man! Thank you, guys! Pfft, double digits! Yes! Domination! Take it over, Twitch! <laughs> oh, we can just move with it! This is so cool! <laughs> ATV, all tornado vehicle. <laughs> Dude, I hit- I'm hitting a million points! Oh, I'm getting shot at. No way, dude. I hit a million, 1.3 million points on the quad. Oh my god. Yeah, these. <sighs> All right. We're back. Get the music back on. Hello, Spotify. That book was so long, it disconnected Spotify. Get the heck out of here. Is that what the like the mage quest line is all about? Like you have to go find different books and read up on them and earn your merit badges and whatnot. And... Cause good lord, that's gonna be boring as heck. Like, there's the emperor. Not at all? Okay, good. I'm gonna break Crash Davis's home run record before I get caught up. <laughs> the Archmage believed it important. It must be powerful. We don't know that. We don't yes. know what it is. Where is Arin anyway? Well, well. And you seem to be in one piece. Thank you. I'll look these over and inform Mirabelle if I find anything relevant. Night of Tears, eh? I remember this one. Well, isn't that interesting? Did you read it yourself? If I recall it correctly, that has some interesting implications. You should mention that to Toldir. And here. I suppose you've earned these. What does Fragment on a Terran remove?
Catalog of weapon enchantments added. Response to Bureau of Speech to Black Hearts. What is Catalog of Weapons Enchantment? All right, then. Oh, there's Tolfadir. Hang on, Tolfadir. Catalog of weapon enchantments. Read. Read manually. All known varieties of weapon enchantments modern mages could cast. No pretenses made that this list is complete. New discoveries. Okay. Okay. These drain off a wizard's reserve of power. Try and and magically just as well. Okay. Really, a catalog by any means. Missions you get from Yurug are ones where you go find books mostly. <laughs> Yurug stinks. Good to see Skyrim's. Has such fine people. You give an old man. It's always encouraging to see the younger generations embracing education. Urag told me to come see you. Did he now? Does he have information about our wonderful discovery? He took all my books. Is that the one about something buried beneath Sarthal? Something that men and Nair fought over? I'll have to make a point of rereading it. I don't recall the details. The elves I beat the crap out of the Dwemers for it. Away. Whatever this is, its beauty is like nothing I've ever seen before. If you'd allow me to indulge myself for a moment, I thought I might make a few observations. I'm sure you've already noticed the markings. They're quite unlike anything we've seen before. I don't even know how you got it here. Aliad, Dwemer. Edric, not even Farmer. None of them are a match. Quite curious indeed. Now, I'm not sure that you're quite as attuned as I am, given my extensive years of experience, but can you feel that? This marvelous object, it practically radiates magicka, and yet it's unlike anything I've felt before. Who the hell are you? Archmage Aaron is already hard at work. Get the frick out of here, Ankeno. More information soon. I'm afraid I must no, I... It is urgent that I speak with your associate immediately. This is most inappropriate. We are involved in serious research here. Yes, I have no doubt of its gravity. This, however, is a matter that cannot wait. Well, I'm quite sure I've never been interrupted like this before. The audacity. I suppose we'll continue this at some later time, when we can avoid interruptions. I need you to come with me immediately. Let's go. Fuck you, dude. Really? Will allow me to clarify the situation. I'd like to know why there's someone claiming to be from the Sigic Order here in the college. More importantly, I'd like to know why he's asking for you specifically. So we're going to go have a little chat with him and find out exactly what it is he wants. Okay. I'll be the one asking the questions. All you need to know is that the Sigic Order is a rogue organization believing themselves to be above the law. 
They have clashed with the old like Mary Seagal. before, and I have no intention of allowing that to happen here. All right, pointy nose nerd, let's go. Above the law. Now, you are going to speak to this monk and find out why he is here, and then he will be removed from college grounds. You dick! <laughs> totally, dude. Totally, this guy is a 100% Ayo. Reach you, reach you. Can't get past me now. Nope. We're not going. We're not going. No, no, no. <laughs> oh. Can I attack this guy? Special knock. Knock, 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 knock. Knock, 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 knock. Dude, what's with all the stairs? Why is there a door in a, randomly in the middle of the stairs? <laughs> Please do not be alarmed. I mean you no harm. It is good to meet you in person. What the heck's going on over here? I'd simply like to talk to you. I've given us a chance to speak privately. But I'm afraid I can't do this for long. We must be brief. The situation here at your college is of dire importance. And attempts to contact you, as we have previously, have failed. I believe it is due to the very source of our concern. This object. The Eye of Magnus, as your people have taken to calling it. The energy coming from it has prevented us from reaching you with the visions you have already seen. The longer it remains here, the more dangerous the situation becomes. And so I have come here personally to tell you it must be dealt with. Um, okay. So, first of all, it's the Eye of Ultra Magnus. Okay, get it right. And if this is dangerous, then why don't you do something about it? Actually, no. What's this have to do with me? You set this chain of events in motion at Sarthor. You must understand the Sigic Order does not typically intervene directly in events. My presence here will be seen as an affront to some within the Order. As soon as we have finished, I will be leaving your college. I'm all too aware that my arrival has aroused suspicion, especially in Onkano your Thalmor associate. Nevertheless, my order will not act directly. You must take it upon yourself to do so. All right. What's the problem? As you may have learned, this object, the eye, is immensely powerful. It's immense. The world is not ready for it. If it remains here, it will be misused. Indeed, many in the order believe it has already. Rather, something will happen soon something that cannot be avoided. Global thermonuclear war? Alright, what do you expect from me? We believe that your efforts should be directed towards dealing with the aftermath. But we cannot predict what that will be. <laughs> I fear I have already overstepped the bounds of my order. But I will offer this. Seek out the Augur of Dunlane here in your college. His perception may be more coherent than ours. Um. Yeah, who's Augur? He was once a student here at the college. Now he is something different. Where can I? They walked you with nobody on. I period. <laughs> That's classic. That's something that would happen in real life. I... I am unsure. He is somewhere within the college. 
Surely one of your colleagues must know his location. I am sorry I cannot provide you with further help, but this conversation requires a great deal of effort on my part. Now, I'm afraid I must leave you. We will continue to watch over you and guide you as best we can. It is within you to succeed. Never forget that. I'm sorry. Well, were you about what to is say the meaning something? of this? I'm sorry. I'm afraid I don't understand. Don't play coy. You asked to see a specific member of the college. Here he is. Now what is it that you want? There's been a misunderstanding. Clearly, I should not be here. I shall simply take my leave. What? What trickery is this? You're not going anywhere until I find out what you're up to. I am not up to anything. I apologize if I have offended you in any way. We will see about this. Are you Augur? I'm... I'm not sure what happened. A monk from the Sigic Order. Here after all these years and then... He just leaves. I hope we didn't offend him somehow. Where's Augur? What you learn here will last you a lifetime. Hmm. Oh, wait. You went extra innings and got a hit? That shouldn't count. I gotta find this auger, dude. You must excuse me. I shouldn't be here. Then why are you here? Hey, Akino. I'm not sure. Are you auger? Oh, you're cool, I assure you. you, I will get to the bottom of it. Restoration is a perfectly valid school of magic, and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Akino, I don't really like you, dude. And I've had about enough of your nonsense. I have many. Are you quite sure we need to be speak? The what? No, no, I'm quite sure I have no idea what you're talking about. I suggest you mind your own business and return to whatever it is you do here. Dude, what is it you do here? I am an advisor to the Archmage. The Thalmor wish to promote relations with your college. I am at the Archmage's disposal if he requires advice. You're a spy. What? Preposterous. And just the sort of thing I would expect from mages who have nothing better to do with their time. I don't like this dude. I have made it quite clear that my only role here is as an advisor to the Archmage. I would suggest that you not further spread this rumor. Now that stability has been established between the Dominion and the Empire, we seek only to help Skyrim. To guide its people through this time of transition. To help lead them well, to a better future. Well, you're a cop. No, no, no! <laughs> I'm disappointed to say I've learned little during my time here. No, no, no! Stay down. Stay down. Money though. Per underscore 247 is now following. Hey Per, thanks for the follow man, appreciate it. Oh, 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 anybody, 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 hello? Hello? Stay down! Stay down, punk! Stay down! There we go. We got snow now. Thank you for redeeming that per. I do not like this this dude right here. Don't like him. I think he stinks and I don't like him. 
Where's Augur? I don't like you either. Give me a random quest out of nowhere. Find Augur. I like the other quest better where you just go kill people. Can you make a snow elf? No. I... No. Who just went in here? Augur. Augie. You look like an auger. You're not. You're the guy who runs this. I don't want to see you treating any of these books poorly. Are we clear? You're rogging your books, dude. Relax. They're books. hurt. I have no idea where this guy is. Hall of Countenance. Mirabel does a fine job as Master Wizard, I suppose. Still, there's always room for improvement. You know, they say knowledge is its own reward. I think you're lying. Is he even in the college? Maybe he's at Winterhelm having like a drink. Guy. Who are you? Restoration is a perfectly valid school of magic, and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Okay. I won't. On top of the world. Here I am in the head of the world now. All I need is some 
beautiful girls. Beautiful girls. How are we supposed to find this guy? I have like no clues. Attained. Order. So did Carlia send you again, or are you here on your own this time? I think the college is due for a change in leadership. Good for you. Have you heard from your family? I'm working on some very important no, research, I assure you. Couriers don't seem to like delivering letters here. Uh, until next me. time. Not at all. It means I'm not being hounded about my progress at the college. Uh. <laughs> He's like, uh. If you're working on any experiments, please clean up after yourself. All right, gotta go down a level. I'm assuming you're here for more than a social call. Down to business, eh? Auger. If you have a moment, could you help me with something? No. Can't have sex now, come on. I need your help with something, something private. Hang on, Armand. Can you... Can you possibly help Jazarko? Why is everybody on this floor need help with something? I still need some help. If you can spare the time. Nope. Not yet. It's always encouraging to see the younger generations embracing education. The college will be here for you, no matter what. We always look after our own. I have no way of knowing what to do. It is difficult to admit, but Cesar Goku still use some help. I have nothing on my map. Oh, I might call it here. Jeez. To save and call it a night. Pick it up again tomorrow. So, home run in the All Star game, baby. Yeah, that's how you end the night.
Not like me, looking for some stranger in the middle of a complex. I have no idea who anybody is. <sighs> I've been led to the Archmage's quarters by Ankana, who insisted that I speak to someone. Claiming to be from the Sigic Order, the monk named Quarnir has informed me that the Eye of Ultra Magnus is dangerous and that we learn how to deal with it. I need to speak with Augur of Dunlane within the college. I'd ask my friends where to find him. Alright, maybe tomorrow we'll start asking around. Uh, but I'm going to go up check out Fred again. He was acting a little weird when I went upstairs earlier. But we're going to call it here, guys. We did bang out the one quest. We got the three books. We ripped apart some mages. Um, and yeah, Christopher went on kind of like a beheading to spree. Uh, spree for some kind. I don't know why, but if you like beheadings, tonight was the stream for you. So I'm out, guys. Until tomorrow. Um... We'll see you then. Hyperion, congratulations on somehow getting screwed out of and maintaining your streak in the same game. That's quite the feat. But until then, guys, I'm out. Have a good night. Be good. Be safe. I'll see you guys back here tomorrow. Stay mighty.